somewhere nearby. Take the lid down, and you should find yourself in the chamber of the Ultima Weapon. Its city-states are built on deceit, and its faith is an instrument of deception. It is not but a cobweb of lies. To believe in Eorzea is to believe in nothing. In Eorzea, the beast tribes often summon gods to fight in their stead, though your comrades only rarely respond in kind. Which is strange, is it not? Are the Twelve otherwise engaged? I was given to understand they were your protectors. If you truly believe them, your guardians, why do you not repeat the trick that served you so well at Cartano and call them down? They will answer, so long as you lavish them with crystals and gorge them on ether. Your gods are no different from those of the beasts. Icons, everyone, except but this, and you will see how Eorzea's faith is bleeding the land dry. Nor is this unknown to your masters, which prompts the question, why do they cling to these false deities? What drives even men of learning, even the great Louis Soir, to grovel at their feet? The answer? Your masters lack the strength to do otherwise! For the world of man to mean anything, man must own the world. To this end, he hath fought ever to raise himself through conflict, to grow rich through conquest. And when the dust of battle settles, it is ever the strong who dictate the fate of the weak. single path is open to the infinite ruler, that of false worship, a path which leads to innovation and death. Only a man of power can rightly steer the course of civilization, and in this land of creeping mendacity, that one truth will prove its salvation. Come, champion of Eorzea, face me. Your defeat shall serve as proof of my readiness to rule. It is only right that I should take your realm, for none among you has the power to stop me.
Allow me, then, hero, to do that which you will not. of the crystal she bears. So, this is what empowers her. Beyond mortal limits. If you are to prevail, the hammer of darkness must needs be brought to bear upon the shield of light. And so it shall, for the ultimate weapon is host to a power of which you are as yet ignorant. Speak plainly, Asian. The heart of Sabik. It is the weapon's core, an enigma whose surface even the vaunted scholars of ancient Alec failed to scratch. The magic within has lain dormant for eons. Of what magic do you speak? A spell without parallel. Ultima. I sought the life force of the primals for no other reason but to quicken the core. For the true power of the Ultima weapon lies within its now beating heart. Lahabrea, what have you done? No more than was necessary for my god to be reborn. Damn you, Asian. The hour is at hand. Behold but a sliver of my god's power. And from the deepest pit of the seven hells to the very pinnacle of the heavens, the world shall tremble. Unleash Ultima! The task of keeping your champion alive has exhausted what strength you had left. Van Belsar, your enemy's shield is broken. 
The rest I leave to you. We will speak later, Asian. But first, I must deal with you. The question of who is mightier remains. Come, adventurer. Let us find the answer together. Subjects of a weak ruler must needs look to a higher power for providence, and their dependence comes at a cost to the realm. The misguided elevate the frail, and the frail lead the people astray. Unless a man of power rests control, the cycle will never be broken. You you of all people must see the truth in this. You who have the strength to rule. You boasted of unrivaled power. You were entrusted with the ultimate weapon. The ultimate magic. And still, you failed. So much for the glory of man. Growing imbalance afflicting the planet must be redressed. If it is permitted to worsen, the very laws of existence, both etheric and physical, will be warped beyond all recognition. Know you the root of this corruption? Hydaelyn! Like a parasite, she must be burned out if the planet is to recover. And not but the return of the one true god will ensure her complete excision. Yet, to pave the way for the Master's return, a chaotic confluence of untold proportions must needs be brought about. And that will necessitate the presence of the Primals. Needless to say, both you and your Scion accomplices cannot be suffered to interfere in this endeavor. You will not leave this place alive. It is past time your flame was extinguished, bringer of light.
If thou wouldst pierce the shadows, make thee a blade of light. What? Thank you. 